three, two, one. Mm, oh my happened. god, that's called well, we will, uh... got a hole in my lip. Well, guys, starting this one off nice and wet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, the coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Oz, You Betcha Guy, here with T-shirt guy Ryan, freshly back from overseas. He went to Washington, <laughs> D.C. Over Lake Michigan. We did yeah. fly over Lake Michigan. Yes, yep. we did. And the Mighty Bus. Yep. And uh, also, we're presented by Ice Mountain. Forgot to tell you guys that. Speaking um, of Michigan. And that's why we're starting this thing off wet and Michigan. So, <laughs> <laughs> Two things, wet and Michigan. The wettest things in Michigan is Ice Mountain. Anyways, <laughs> Ryan, it's good to have you back, buddy. Thanks you. Thank you. Thanks you. <laughs> your, is your brain also a baked potato after spending um, an entire two weeks sightseeing? <laughs> And taking it all in, my brain is is pretty fried. If I'm not, if I'm being honest, um, because the amount of reading that people okay. So the thing about going to like museums and stuff is right when you get in is the biggest bottleneck because people get in and they think that they need to read everything that's going on. It's like you don't. Um, I'm not so much of a reader, but I got caught up in the midst of what everyone else was doing. Yeah, I mean, if I'm at anything like we went to Pearl Harbor when we were in Hawaii for yeah. my honeymoon. Um, and I started reading a plaque and I didn't finish it. <laughs> you slapped yourself. You said, what are you doing? No, I just got distracted by <laughs> other stuff. Yeah. If, if I were to start reading, I'd maybe get through like, like, let's say the first out of three paragraphs after the first one, I'd like read the last second s- sentence of the second one. And then I would just read the last sentence of the third one. It's like, I a hundred percent agree. Historians. They're too caught up in the history of things. (laughs) (laughs) To put it lightly, yes. (laughs) I want to hear an action. I don't care how it went down. I just want to know an exciting story. So, (laughs) like... Even, you know, Titanic's been in the news with the people, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, movie was good, but if they would have went off script of what actually happened a little more, it probably would have been a more exciting movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so much of that movie's off script. <laughs> the entire actually? plot of the movie is made up. <laughs> of the Titanic? Yeah. The only thing the that's true is the Titanic sinking. <laughs> Are you shit? Jack and Rose were not not a real thing. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I mean, have you ever tried to read a history book? It's tough. It's yeah. like watching paint dry. Yeah. It's like reading paint dry. Yeah. It's like, and it's so outdated. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the new stuff? I mean, come on. The way they talk, the way people, the way they talk in history books is just so out of style. Like, keep up with the times for Christ's sakes. (laughs) What do you think about English books? Same thing. Fucking Bill Shakespeare is a racket. (laughs) Billy. Uh, <laughs> Again, if they would have gone off script on Romeo and Juliet, that would have been way more interesting of a story. Also, could have been left for a sequel if they wouldn't have ended up killing each other, killing yeah, themselves. Yeah, they're not leaving things up for sequels. Yeah, yeah what the fuck was a it's sequel called a in Romeo Bill. and Juliet? Yeah, West Side Story. I was actually halfway through yeah. Titanic. I was like, I can't wait for Titanic too. <laughs> Life after the ship. <laughs> That'd be funny if you watched the Titanic for the first time and you didn't know it sunk. Like, it's like, whoa. No! Oh. <laughs> Turn the ship! Turn it! 
There will oh, be there. This is such a great rom com. <laughs> <laughs> They're so silly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I just give me the cliff notes <laughs> when it comes to history. I'm with you. you know? Or or give me some good shit to look at. Like give me some actual. Like give me the. For instance, the Declaration of Independence. I'm obviously not going to read it. We the where, people. Where after you cursed. stole it, did you hide it? Where is it hidden right now? Uh, oh, that I can't tell you. You told that you have to kill me? Give him if a I clue. That, I would have to kill you. Yeah, I just need one clue. Do I got to go to North Pole and find some old abandoned ship? No, if you want to get the clue, you need lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lemon juice. Oh, oh you know the clue? How much lemon juice? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fresh bottle. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can use Tyler's hot air that he always blows. <laughs> I went to the Johnny Cash Museum in Nashville. And if you wanted to read more about something, you just scan a QR code. That I love. Yeah. I love that one. QR codes are awesome. Yeah, agreed. So I like, don't know why it's so satisfying to not have to click that you want to scan something. Yeah. That was the best thing that ever happened. You don't even got to click, click like photo and then it happens. It's just you just put your phone over it. The QR code pops up. That is the best. I, I, I probably I saw that like the number one tourist possibly in dc at this time <laughs> we're going through the holocaust museum and he was just taking he was just going up taking photos of like each you know long paragraph of that part of history and then moving on to the next one and the amount of people that he told yeah i'm probably just gonna read this later when i get bored <laughs> it was unbelievable <laughs> i'm like this guy's not getting bottlenecked at all yeah. I mean, he's, he's gonna cruise right through he'll be done in 15 minutes it was read it later. Yep. So yeah, the opposite would happen to me. It would be if I want to get bored, I would read that. Well, and you kind of have to stand. You have to stand a certain way too. You have to stand in reflection. Uh, you have to stand like you are deeply thinking about yeah. you know that that piece of history and and like immersing yourself into it. It's kind of weird. Like I don't know, your body just kind of morphs into this stance. You're like, fuck yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm meant okay. to be here right now. Hold on one sec. Yeah. So, for those who don't know, Ryan went to Washington, D.C. for his 30th birthday. Yep. Found out it's not his birthday yet, so I don't know why the <laughs> fuck he went. Uh, yeah. Two, first list off everything that you went and saw. Okay. Real quick. Lincoln Memorial, uh, National Mall, which I didn't realize is not actually a mall. There's no... <laughs> it's just a... It's just oh, a <laughs> Jared, they don't talk about the mall in history books. I, I you I thought it would be just like the Mall of America. Yeah, I was thinking. You think like, actually it would be. Yeah, considering it's in Washington D.C. Right. Well, they call it a mall. I'm like, fuck. Like, where's the Lululemon store? Can we like, you know, get some new kicks or yeah. new shorts or where's whatever? The, where's the fucking Payless? <laughs> I need some new Steve Maddens. <laughs> yeah. So turns out the mall wasn't actually a foot mall. Locker, where the fuck is Foot Locker? <laughs> I can't think of where? anything other than shoe stores yeah. right now. Sketchers, <laughs> yeah. Hallmark store, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. He, he walks by the jewelry store. His wife thinks he's getting her a diamond <laughs> necklace. No yeah. diamond, yeah, no diamond necklace this time. Okay, um, so the Lincoln mall, Memorial, the mall is not a mall. No, it was very underwhelming. It was, it was, you know, yeah, to walk. To walk through the mall, the tall task. So we we rode scooters instead. Um, Washington Monument, which you know, a lot of these monuments, you walk up to them real quick and then you walk back down. That's kind of how we how we played it. Um, the Capitol Building. Did you storm it? <laughs> <laughs> really, Tyler? I'm just wondering. It, it's actually. It. I think it is too soon. To, to ask questions yeah. about that around there because okay. I was going to we got a we got a tour from uh, one of the staffers at Hoven's office mm -hmm. and I didn't ask any questions because it just seemed to be a sensitive subject that I wasn't going to die yeah into. like it's smart been bad be like so you guys patch up <laughs> <laughs> the holes in your guys' security <laughs> protocol here. Yeah. you know that rope that thing that's roped off there that looks pretty easy to get past is that a decoy is there some other booby trap yeah, yeah. where are the lasers yeah. that I'm walking through through. If yeah. I put my arm over this threshold of this door, will metal bars drop down? 
because <laughs> I would have thought that that's maybe the type of protocols we should now put in in this yeah. place. Yeah. No, next time though, if if, if it's a few years, where is the I... moat? Yeah. <laughs> with human eating sharks and around drawbridge yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i mean let's take a page out of the medieval history books <laughs> and let's, let's, let's get some higher walls a moat and let's get some archers up there on top yeah. the wall yeah. let's read the spark notes from the history books. Yeah. yeah i mean <laughs> god read a history book yeah I mean, yeah, you can just walk. You could just walk right up in there. You might get stopped by one guy. Mm-hmm. To one guy. Why the it. fuck do we have history books if history is a mystery? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the saying? The history is a mystery. History's mysteries. So History's- is our history books just one big mystery novel? It's like an R.L. Stein book. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is written by the victors. <laughs> that is oh, true. That's a good point. That is true, Tyler. <laughs> um, yeah. Capitol building, pretty cool. <laughs> White House, also pretty cool. It's cool seeing the guys. They let you in there? No, nope, they didn't. Mm-hmm. Question, cool. over all this time, do they repaint it white or is it starting to dull? It's starting to dull for sure. Is it really? Yep. Is it more like a off yellow house? Yeah, it's like a cream house. Maybe like okay. an eggshell White House. <laughs> eggshell yeah, house. yeah, yeah that's, that's that's actually a good. They call uh, it the cream house when Clinton was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something. Holy I was fuck. trying to think of something. Now that's that a five chapter seven. in the history <laughs> yeah. books that I would read. Yeah, right? they don't teach. They don't especially t- at night. That yeah. one. That- <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn that by shit myself. On your own. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna go study. <laughs> Clinton's presidency <laughs> by myself in my bedroom under the covers Crack with some <laughs> tissues. Because it's so sad what happened. Uh, yeah. That is, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one they wouldn't need to spice up at all. Yeah. <laughs> Straight facts. And that's not a mystery. I mean, that's facts. There's no mystery behind Clinton in the Oval Office. <laughs> it's the Oral or office. office. Or the Oral <laughs> Office, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he put, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> uh, it was wild seeing the security guards walking up on the roof, though. I yeah. mean, you just, you don't understand how much security is actually there until you're there and you see it in person. And there's, there's a shit ton. It's locked down. No um, moat, though. No moat. No mode. fucking moat. No. Just a, just <laughs> that a, would be a, like, Objectively, though, it moats are a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> you know how annoying it is to have to walk through a stream of yeah. any sort. Get your socks wet. Like humans, literally <laughs> built bridges because they hated going through water so bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, moat can solve a lot of issues. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe needs to be the next. Yeah, if, move I mean for them, I, I think it. I think if you on- guys elect me to be your next president, I'll put a moat around everything. <laughs> Safety is my number one priority. <laughs> no, I, no, every no. school, every government building, everything will have a moat around it. <laughs> not a bad idea, to be honest. Not a bad idea. I feel like there's a lot of water in the in the world to fill the moats. Yeah, mo moats, less problems. Moats. Yeah, yeah. We need mo moats. <laughs> That's your slogan. Mo, mo moats, less problems. <laughs> That's pretty good, Jared. Way better than the airmail. That is, yeah. Well, the moats was. <laughs> Completely my idea. I think uh, the, the tagline. The, it, the, it was more so the tagline. Yeah, we got the yeah. slogan. Well, that's what I do is I hire people around sure. me. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're hire- on top of my great ideas. Yeah. And yeah. like in the in the politician community, we call those staffers. Yeah. There you go. Or interns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking staffers. Yeah. Mean something different in the uh in the wrestling community. <laughs> Just getting a staffer. <laughs> Don't come in Tyler. to practice today. You got yourself a staffer. This is, Tyler, you had a couple of staff. I thought that was a know? staff infection joke. That is a it staff is. infection oh. joke. I thought you were calling. You, you, were, you were thinking it was a boner joke. Yeah, because yeah. that's usually where people go and they're going to joke about no, wrestling. No, like, is it a staff infection? Just like a, a skin irritation? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. From, you get them? Yeah, you can get them. Okay. I don't know. I never got a staff infection, but I got ringworm. Yeah. Oh God, you look like a ringworm mm-hmm. guy. <laughs> Same church. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've had ringworm. So I was, yeah, that's right. <laughs> a lot of staffers in the wrestling community. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two places you get staffers: politics, wrestling, <laughs> in sixth grade gym class. <laughs> 
ball pits are also a big... <laughs> There's three things. <laughs> well, we're at four now. Oh, yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you went to the mall, got, the mall. Some, got some new kicks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's surprising how open it is there. Um, White House, um, the memorials, I think, were the, some of the coolest parts. World War II memorial, uh, Vietnam memorial, Korean War Memorial, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Uh, Lincoln Memorial, you said. Yep, Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument. Um, those were all pretty sweet. The coolest one of all time, though, was Changing of the Guard. Those guys. I mean, you want to talk about the strength of the American military? It's those guys right there. They are the pinnacle of the American military. Also, one other cool thing. Went to a Washington Nationals game. They flew four Blackhawks over top the field. Uh, <laughs> no, they weren't Blackhawks. They were, uh, uh, what's the other one? What's the other one? <laughs> Never seen anything like it. Are you talking helicopters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what? say they were Apaches. Apaches, that's what it was. So yeah. they're helicoptering. <laughs> <laughs> and the Blackhawks were <laughs> helicoptering over National Stadium. <laughs> How do so many of those I things just line to, up? I tried to hold that. It's in. okay. I mean, no, it you did up. it. You were lining up perfectly. I, I did everything I could. <laughs> That's okay because it yeah, that lines up perfectly. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so the they heli- yeah, over. they helicoptered four Blackhawks <laughs> over top the national stadium. And I'll tell you what, I've never felt I've never felt more American than I did in that point that point in time right now. Just watching four Blackhawks <laughs> helicopter. <Just> helicoptering. <laughs> um I don't think you had to go all the way to DC. To have that <laughs> <laughs> I think you could have maybe done that closer to home. Oh my god! <laughs> Gosh, could have saved one hundred and twenty dollars in park and uh, parking fees at the Minneapolis airport. We're just staying in town. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that you was drove to Minneapolis. <laughs> well, we had a concert bef- the night oh, before yeah, we flew yeah, out. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the yeah. only reason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, Arlington National Cemetery, changing the guard. Um, one of the coolest things that I've ever seen. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Would I would love to have been there. Um, I got thanks for the invite. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I do got a video. I can show you the video, and you basically just close your eyes and it don't feel like you're there. Um. But it is kind of wild how in sync those guys are. And they are 24-7, 365. They don't skip a beat. Rain or shine, it doesn't matter. How many Holidays, of them are there? Um, they go in... God, I read it too. I think they go in like, like three or six man shifts. So it's 24 hours on, 24 hours off, 24 hours on, 24 hours off. How many of them are actually out there though? There's there's one guard out there at all times. Yes, and then they change the guard. Yep. So there's six of them in 24 hours that there's six shifts. Yeah, they're they're flipping around. They're flipping because they go in half hour increments. So you only guard uh in the summertime, you only guard for 30 minutes. Outside of the summertime, you guard for one hour. So every half hour they have a changing of the guard. And I believe it rotates, and I could be wrong, it's either three or six for a 24 hour period. Mm. Um, but you go one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, one day on, and then 96 hours off after that. And I believe you serve for like 18 months. I want to say it is. Um, but I mean, it's, that's the pinnacle of being an American is seeing that right there in my mind. Yeah. It's cool stuff. Um, I'll have to see that video when you get, get a chance. Yeah. But again, when it came to looking at all this shit, I'm more like, I want to see some stuff, right? I want to see the Declaration of Independence. I want to see a piece of like this ship that got blown off in World War II or whatever. And were you able to accomplish that? I did. What was the coolest thing you saw? 
probably the Declaration of Independence. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is a movie star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, because they got that, they got the Constitution, and then they so got the was Bill the, of Rights. So was the replica that you saw from the one that was in the... Because basically it was just a big movie set, right? That yeah. Well, Nick yeah. Cage has... Nick. I think Nick Cage still has the original. Yeah. Well, I mean, they made a Declaration <laughs> of Independence for the movie. That's the original. Mm -hmm. And so then they made replica so that people could come take photos by it yeah. and stuff. Well, you can't take... Yeah. Yeah. And they don't allow you to take photos to make you think that it's actually the real one in there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we all know that's not the real, the real no, deal. No flash photography. You the think, lights were all dimmed. You think Nick Cage Gates would have gave back his most prized possession? <laughs> Did you... Not? Buy uh, a replica of the replica in the gift shop in a perfect tube. Good question. <sighs> did you bring a perfect tube? I did not find a perfect tube. <sighs> that is. So I did get you guys. Fucked. I did get you guys each a gift from the National Archives Museum, though. Oh, okay. the gift shop. Okay. When is that gonna happen? Right now. Okay. Oh. Wow. I, I mean, I, I. Okay. Hawaii gifts. Uh. Everywhere I go. Wall drug gifts. Uh. National Archives, Washington, D.C., Declaration of Independence, Nick Cage Gates, gifts. Okay. Are we doing it right okay. now? Tyler, you get yours first. Okay. Oh, we'll nice. start, for, we'll start um, from, from worst to best. Oh. Tyler, I got you a notebook with John F. Kennedy playing golf with all of his kids. <laughs> all of his kids, they have their shirts off. Uh, what, There's like what? half naked kids what? running around while hey, JFK is playing golf. What a good dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, golf, dad, sketch pad. Uh, it just it says, says links on it. It has a National Archives um, it be a deal rookie card. in the, in the top. See that but you, I, I, at one point, I think you said that JFK was your favorite oh, the, president. The kid, uh, I, the maybe. Kids. And I think I was in a, I was in a JFK mood because at Arlington, he, he Did is you have a buried. headache? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it was a mind blowing. He, uh, <laughs> JFK is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, <laughs> Got to see the grave, which that was very surreal as well. Huh. Also, the kids are moving on this thing. It's yeah. kind of a fun deal. There you go. Yeah, you got Thanks. kids, Tyler. Jared, you got to come get oh, yours. Yeah. I can't take these, these earbuds okay, out. Yeah. Um, Jared. You're the type of guy you walk around. Uh, you wear you, you you wear a oh he can't hear me. Damn it! Oh here he comes. He's really slow. There he is. Yeah, I figured you wear a couple hats. You probably need one more. So I got you a national treasure. National treasure <laughs> from the National Archives Museum. National oh my God. treasure flat. So they're hat. absolutely leaning in. Yeah, hundred percent. The movie. There we go. Because I, yeah. I, I'm, I, I mean, I, I've been seeing you wear that one for it's every perfect. episode. You can adjust. Yeah, it it's does. actually adjustable in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, it says on it, it's a one size fits all, man. I don't know. Maybe you're not all. It doesn't um, fits all. I got one more gift. Obviously, you, you guys. didn't get one for Jake. Well, Jake. <laughs> what the hell is that about, Ryan? Jake? You've never brought gifts for everyone that else. That is true. That's so, true. Yeah. Um. The funny thing about this gift. <laughs> <laughs> the Declaration of Independence 23 by 29 inch poster. I had to, I walked out of the National Archives with a tube and a document inside. Had to walk back in. You know why? Because I accidentally grabbed the Constitution <laughs> instead of the Declaration of Independence. We've never talked about the Constitution. Yeah, it just wouldn't confused. have fit. I was going to keep it, but I'm like, I, I can't fucking let my guys down. I thought you were going to say so, you accidentally stole the real Declaration <sighs> of Independence and had to bring it back. I mean, if you if you aren't walking through there thinking like, could this actually be done? Then, you know, what are you doing in there? This looks right? hey, easy with it. I actually it's haven't delicate. even pulled that out because I All didn't right. want to have to roll it back Who up. Who the fuck has got some lemons? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need some lemons, a couple hair dryers, and a good attitude. <laughs> I'm going to be going at this baby all night. I also need a ballpoint pen and a legal pad to write down the code. Tyler's, nice. got a, Tyler's got a he's got a notebook. Yeah, you I'll, I'll translate on here. Yeah. Transcribe. <laughs> Made in the U.S. Well, that's good. <laughs> I hope. Good Thank start. God. Good start. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the Declaration of Independence was made in China? What the fuck is going on? I didn't see that movie. History is a lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it says it's sold in the United States. It doesn't say where it's made. <laughs> um, you should take it out, though. All right. I, was, it was I like, didn't want to because I didn't want to have to roll that baby back up. 
All right. I think the best way to maybe end this segment is I'll just read it. (laughs) Good idea. (laughs) Careful, careful, careful. (laughs) We are in Congress, July 4th, 1776. The unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America. I don't know what that first word is. <laughs> Where in the course of human events, it becomes... I can't read it. <laughs> need lemon juice. Yeah. Is there invisible ink that I'm missing here? Where is... Where in the course of human events, it becomes... Uh, what is that Jared, word right there? Pull it What's that word? Necessary. So they're they're necessary asses. for one yeah. people, which is terrible English, <laughs> to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another. Wow, <laughs> this is why no one reads. <laughs> so bored. Also, the calligraphy back then was on another level. Yeah, they're I not mean, teaching that shit anymore. Yeah, pre whiteout too. The JFK yeah. book was made in China. Oh. I will. Really? That's a bummer. Actually, yeah. that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Tyler. No, it's okay. I'm gonna be honest. This is actually a really nice gift that you got me. I figured we could maybe put it on the yeah. fridge behind you. All I know is that John Hancock was really something. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see him back. We should laminate it too. It says, "Original Declaration of Independence." On the back, Uh-oh. Ryan, you did you it. Grabbed the wrong you one. You pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> you grabbed the wrong one. Swapped it out with the gift shops tube. <laughs> <laughs> so smart. Did you buy an extra one to, just in case? I may have. How does this sound, by the way? In the it mic? sounds great. It sounds phenomenal. It's like parchment paper. You can tell though that it's real by how it sounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the way it is. Yeah, Sorry. and by the way that it is. <laughs> yeah, so, we gotta throw that up somewhere. Yeah, a little piece of history with us here in the the Troy es- uh, Troy Escalade Jackson Memorial Declaration of Independence Studio. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Rolls off the tongue. So yeah, I mean, thanks, Ryan. You bet. Actually, I'm gonna frame it. Put some bulletproof glass in front of it, just in case I get a, get a thief in the middle of the night. And why I can't, it, I, that's why I didn't take it back out. That's why there. I didn't take it out, yep. <laughs> so. Do, do, do. Didgeridoo. Does kind of sound didgeridoo-y. Um, what was, is that the cool, you, you said the seeing... Stealing the Declaration of Independence <laughs> was the best thing he did. Most American thing top he two. did. Black Hawks <laughs> helicoptering <laughs> over top of you. Yep, change of the guard. Four of them. Yep. Um, and changing of the guard. Yeah. Is there anything else? I ate the best sushi of my entire life. Uh, also, how? Uh, fun fact: I ate at my first Michelin star restaurant. Okay. Ooh. How many stars? One. Oh, oh god. <laughs> the one star. That's all I needed though. I all I needed was one star. Never eaten that one before. And it live I mean it completely lived up to the hype. Okay. I would love to go to this restaurant, but I don't know the name. Uh it was something kawakazi. It was a sushi restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember like sushi <laughs> kawakazi or something. <laughs> Kawakaza. Jerry, can you look up? Yeah, uh, I'm sure it would see something like that. Uh, I don't know how to spell it. Michelin star <clears throat> sushi, oh, fuck. Washington, D.C. <laughs> Michelin star sushi, Washington, D.C. I, I shit you not. It was the best. They fly all of their fish straight in from Japan. Uh, yep. Nakaz- uh, Nakazawa. Sushi Nakazawa. Not even close. (laughs) Not even fucking close. They serve it. Okay. The cool thing is they serve it to you one piece at a time. And what we got, we got the 20, the 21 piece entree or whatever. So we got 21 individual pieces of sushi about one every five minutes. Huh? So it took us about an hour and a half. Do you have sake? 
No sake. Nope. Um, I, well, after dinner, I didn't have any money left to pay for <laughs> anything but water. So, no, I'm kidding. We had a couple good beers. Such uh, a we, bad <laughs> um, but uh, it was, did you also find that it was somewhat difficult to find parking? <laughs> <laughs> it was at the bottom of the old Trump Hotel. So this hotel that it was in it is no longer a Trump hotel. It used to be that. Also, this person went to a sushi bar and said that the fish smell is too much. <laughs> the fuck do you yeah. expect? Yeah, you're you went to a that. sushi place. There's there's tuna fillets all over the place. Very disturbing experience. I was taking pictures while the managers came back and forth to ask me to eat faster. You are paying for nothing. Food is okay. And service is horrible. This place doesn't deserve a Michelin star. I mean... Okay, keep going. DC people need something way better than this. Next uh, one, one, one. Oh, two star. The 21 course is 19 small pieces of fish on rice and two small desserts. I think that just describes sushi. <laughs> that is, I mean, that makes sushi sound way worse when you just call it small piece of fish on rice. Well, right. yeah. Maybe this person doesn't know what sushi is. <laughs> You're paying for the sushi chef. It was very nice, but not worth the money. <laughs> the rice was too salty, and he, and he used one of three seasonings on all the fish. How many seasonings? Well, that's different do you fish, want? though. That's a thing. I just, this person, Jasmine, doesn't know what she's talking about at all. Give me one more review. <laughs> no, those are good reviews. Mm, pretty good. Pretty solid. A lot of three stars here, Ryan. Fish was not fresh compared to the restaurant in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my hometown, New York City, the fish is way more fresh. <laughs> they fly it in from the East Coast instead of the West Coast. If I if I were to be one to give stars, I'd give it five. Wow. Okay. Do it. Maybe the people giving one stars are just giving, trying to give more Michelin stars. <laughs> yeah. They're just trying to give it one more Michelin star. <laughs> they haven't had good sushi yet. Yeah. Well, the one person doesn't... They, Apparently doesn't even know what sushi is. No, she said it <laughs> smells like this fish is in this just joint. One, this is just one small piece of fish on rice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's exactly. what we're having for supper tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you had to go all the way to D.C. to experience all that. I'm glad you're back. Yeah. Had to and see uh, thanks for the gift. I'm going to have to get that framed. Yeah, that baby hung up. Yeah, thinking maybe right above... Master bedroom. Bed. <laughs> Declaring your independence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. Fucking here, 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 here. Give me a lot of John Hancock. You know? A lot of John Hancocks and a lot of Black Hawks. That no. just, there's no correlation there whatsoever. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Well, we're glad you're back. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take a break and we'll uh, keep this thing rolling. Oh, my God. That's so wet. You know what would also be wet? <laughs> the moat that I put around <laughs> all of Washington, D.C. with Ice Mountain in it. Yes. That Although is. that could be a bad mistake because your enemies go into it and they just start drinking it. And then, or they would overhydrate themselves. They'd be slow mm -hmm. and groggy, belly full of water. That is true. It's a double whammy. Not only does it suck to go through a lake of ice mountain, moat of ice mountain, <laughs> it also, if you drink it all, you're fucking bogged down. Well, yeah. It would, it would also give the, uh, like the local animals a place to. Yeah. Wildlife, the yeah. whole shebang. Yep. Plus everyone would have beautiful skin in mm -hmm. DC as well yeah. because drinking water and hydrating also is great for your skin. I've heard. Yeah. And swimming's good for the joints. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just don't see a downside, a recreation aspect to it as well as a defense mechanism. <laughs> and so, if, guys, if you want a moat around your town like I do, <laughs> you got to go to icemountain.com and get yourself 100% natural spring water 
We're going to see if we can talk to Ice Mountain, see if we can get a change of 100% natural moat water. <laughs> <laughs> the best moat water. Natural moats are just rivers, right? Yeah, drinkable moat water. Yeah. You don't even need a filter for it. Yeah. Because it's already fil- filtered. Yeah. So talk to your local representative. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them we sent you. <laughs> Again, this is not a official statement from Ice Mountain, but I imagine they'd want me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Go to IceMountain.com and slurp it up. Ryan, did you see any Mossberg muskets while you were in Washington, D.C.? Great question. Uh, I didn't, but I did see a couple old uh, Mossberg, uh, like Mossberg style BBs. I was actually going to get you a necklace with a little, like a, a little ball a on it. A Civil War. Uh, what do they call that? The little ball that they used to shoot out of the guns. A musket, right? The musket is the gun. I don't know, actually. Whatever the bullet is inside was a Mossberg bullet at the National Yeah, Archives. I just would call it a bullet. Yeah, yeah. it's just a round bullet authenticated too so but i passed that up Slug, i bet maybe? we i bet we would have won the revolutionary war much faster if there had been mossberg muskets in that war by the way yeah. you know what mr mossberg just wasn't born soon enough that is true yeah. but thank god that we won that we went on to do great things as a country mm-hmm. and we have the right to bear arms and we ended up making mossberg and now Tyler can go out into the fields, into the woods with it and not shoot a turkey Mm -hmm. (laughs) because Mm -hmm. he has that freedom. I do. From Washington, (laughs) D.C., from the Redwood Forest to the New York Islands, Uh. this Mossberg was made for you. (laughs) Go to Mossberg.com, pick one out. Someone's got to go turkey hunting around here. (laughs) Ryan. Yep. Was there a holiday attached to the Lincoln Memorial? (laughs) (laughs) It said coming 2024. (laughs) (laughs) Again, not an official statement from holiday that they're moving there, but I imagine that that's a place they'd want to have a holiday. It's the neon blue reflecting (laughs) Abe's face. All the yeah. selfies with, with the Lincoln Memorial just got this blue glow. Yeah. I actually think there's a storefront opening up in the National Mall that they're looking at they're looking yeah. at infiltrating. All the photos from the Lincoln Memorial just look like a Twitch streamer. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some red tape to go through. Yeah. So where's the Lincoln Memorial at? You see that new the blue neon sign? <laughs> Don't pass gas. <laughs> Follow them. Turn right into the Lincoln Memorial. No, we'll have to pitch it to them that they should try and Link up with Lincoln. Link link it up. <laughs> Be very mem- memorable. <laughs> Close. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to see if we can link it up with Lincoln and get a holiday right there because that would be great for the people of D.C. to be able to walk around with a... Uh, Honey, honey battered corn dog, mm-hmm. <laughs> or maybe a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, or a nice cup of joe, mm-hmm. nice cup of coffee. So glad to be back though in <laughs> holiday country, aren't you? Very. Yeah, that's got to be. It the was one. not easy, easy pickings down there. You had to have been walking around the mall just having a <laughs> hankering for a holiday <laughs> breakfast sandwich. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. It just there wasn't options. Well, did you not eat the whole time? Nope. All I gotta, the sushi besides restaurant. the sushi place. <laughs> yeah, 22 all, pieces. All I got to say, though, is home is where the holiday is. All right, guys. This next segment is actually my... The, these two segments couldn't have... We couldn't have done a better drawbridge over the moat to these two segments. I'm going to be honest with you. So, Jared had a great idea. Jared, what is it? Uh, it's our weirdest flexes. Weirdest flexes, which brings me to my weirdest flex. My weirdest flex is that I know all of the states and capitals. Really? I've right. seen you do this. I think we might yeah. have already done this on the pod before. Yeah. Virginia. But, uh, give me another one. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia is Richmond, is it not? That's correct. It is. Um, but no, anytime you're drinking, being the guy at the party saying, give me, give me states, I'll give you the caps. You know, and that's... <laughs> 
in the in the topography community. That's what they call capitals, <laughs> states and caps. Ryan went to their building. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, and uh, it's one of my weirdest flexes that I can just whip them out. Uh, so, not to brag, but Texas. Texas is Austin. Two for two. Oregon. I know this one. Oregon is Salem. Washington is Olympia. It's a hard one. Oregon always confused me as a kid because I'm like, Salem? That's in Massachusetts. That's where they burned all the witches. Yeah. Maine, Augusta. Uh, he could. That Delaware. Could Dover, easy, yeah, double D, easy. my favorite state. <laughs> Florida. Yeah, combo. Florida is Tallahassee. Florida's a tricky one. Wow. A lot of big cities. Mississippi. Mississippi is. It's easy. It's a way up. Is it Jackson? Yep. I don't fucking know. Jackson, Mississippi. Yep, it is. I mean, I could go all day. The United States of America. Fuck. It's the one I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's got to be Fargo ND. <laughs> it, it will be once I'm president. <laughs> first 100 days. Yeah, first 100 days. <laughs> We're moving to Fargo, baby. <laughs> I already got a moat all dug. <laughs> yeah, the diversion. <laughs> Fuck, That's true, actually, yeah. I hate the diversion. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. You yep. know what? Let's rebrand it from a diversion of the river to a moat, and I think mm-hmm. people would have been are more on yeah, board with to guard it. the city. Yeah, it's all about branding. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's like Apple, right? They got the stupid fucking little notch on the top, and now it's a it's not a black little pill thing at the top of your iPhone. It's it's a dynamic island. Mm. It's all about that. Mm-hmm. Fargo could be a dynamic island as well, <laughs> wrapped in a moat. <laughs> That's all about branding. <laughs> so that's also another weird flex is I can pretty much spin anything to make it sound good. <laughs> Kansas. Topeka. Good one. Oh, I can't think of any states. <laughs> Wyoming. That's a good one. Cheyenne. Easy. Fucking easy. Utah. Salt Lake City. SLC. Connecticut. One of the hardest ones is Nevada. I think Easy. another one. Reno. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I would guess Reno. Carson City. Ooh, mm. yeah. Not to brag. No one's going to Carson City. South Dakota. Pierre. Pierre? <laughs> Pierre. Um, so, Missouri. Missouri is Jefferson City. We drive through it all the time, Tyler. Okay. I keep thinking of states, and if I can name the capital, um, then odds are you probably can too. Yeah. So I can't. I'm, Kentucky I'm to... is Frankfurt, which is a weird one as well. What's well, Arizona's? Arizona is. So New Mexico is Santa Fe. Arizona is, I believe it's Phoenix. Hmm. Uh, what about Vermont? Montpelier, easy because my last name is Montpelier, <laughs> Vermont, and Montpelier. There's a lot of monting going mm, that's on. That's a that's a good word association. <laughs> yeah. What do we got, Jake? You got any, Jake? It's Phoenix. Easy. Oh yeah. wow. <clears throat> so I think I flexed already. My muscles are getting a little fatigued here. Yeah. So Ryan, what's your biggest flex? You're like, don't ask me anymore. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys yeah. asked the only ones that I know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would say my biggest flex is the amount of uh, celebrity doppelgangers that I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> very <laughs> true. Yeah, I, I I can I'll give you four off the top of my head. Um, number one, Steve Nash mm-hmm. had I had somebody going at the ba- at your bachelor party for hours on end <laughs> that I actually was Steve Nash. We were in Arizona. Did yeah. you play for the Suns at yeah. one point? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Steve Nash. Kyle Shanahan being number two. Yep. Depending on the beard situation. Mm-hmm. Number three, Mark Andre Fleury. Yep. Goalie mm-hmm. for the Wild mm-hmm. or former goalie. That's former. Yeah. yeah. That, that is wild. How much Mostly with the Penguins. <laughs> yes. Um, and number four, Seth Myers, Saturday Night Live. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I've never one. seen that one. Yeah. Yeah. Is time out? Is Ryan just the guy who looks like everybody? <laughs> <laughs> 
quite possibly. Uh, an honorable mention uh, have, have been te- told by a couple people is Adam Sandler, and I think that's maybe why I'm such oh, a big fan. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't see that. You should see my uncle, though. My uncle is uh, damn near replica. Hmm. So it, it does come down the bloodline a little bit. Yeah, and then when you wear sunglasses, you sometimes look like Kendall Roy from. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, because it's it's the yeah. What's his nose. actor name? Yep, uh, J- Jeremy Strong. His, his actor name. What's his name? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeremy Strong. Jeremy Strong. That's a good yeah. one too, Jarrett. Yeah. You kind of are weird like him too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Always walking around all creepy. You would say fiduciary. Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys remember the uh, uh, when he gave that big speech um, and that jacket that he was wearing jacket uh it was like living it was like living the living plus speech or whatever oh, yeah. it was given that oh yeah the, like, the aviator jacket yeah they had one at the national archives gift shop it, it was a nasa jacket and i almost bought it <laughs> but i i went to that sushi thing had, if that's the case it had to have been at least 150 dollars. it was yeah i went to sushi <laughs> the night before otherwise i would have bought it <laughs> i was out of i was out of cash oh yeah i went to michelin <laughs> michelin one star god what a kick um, to the nuts it would be if on the way to a Michelin star restaurant, which is what the reason why it's called Michelin, mm-hmm. right? The, if you if your Michelin tires went down and you had to get new Michelin tires on your way to a Michelin star restaurant, you would just have no money left. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank great. God that you flew there and didn't I drive know. there, right? I know. Yeah. Imagine if the Uber would have went down or something. <laughs> yeah. Would have been bad news. <sighs> So, so that would be my weirdest flex. That's a good flex. A lot you of celeb do look like all of those. <laughs> yeah. Are you just the love child of all five of those guys? Yeah. There, there may be. <coughs> well, what did I say? You're always like, you're always seven people. Con- S- six degrees. You're always six degrees. Is that is that the from? But you can you, you can connect somebody. Like we're all six degrees from whoever. Gotcha. Yes. Right. It all started with the Kevin Bacon thing that they could find six degrees of Kevin Bacon. He he's in a movie with someone, but you can do that with just about anybody, like yeah. even with pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm only six degrees away. Yeah, you've never been in the same room as all those people you named off. That is very true. So. That is very true. Mm-hmm. I haven't either. Never have I ever <laughs> been in a room with all five of those guys. <laughs> <Figured> <laughs> You put it down if you haven't, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Drake. And then you drink. drink. <laughs> <laughs> you always got the one guy that ruined Never Have I Ever. He's like, yeah, I fucking did all of it, dude. I'm done in five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yeah. No, you put it down if you have done it. Right. So yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> and that guy's name was Dylan. Yeah. So I was like, no, dude, I did that. I'll tell you exactly when I did that. <laughs> I got photos. I was with all five of those guys as a meet and greet. <laughs> Time out. Did they start the restaurant? Five guys. Five guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Just five guys, brothers. Five brothers. <laughs> Tyler, what's your biggest flex? That's not my biggest flex, but it's a weird one. Is well, that not the, name the, of the whole segment, segment? No, it's our weird flex. Our weird flex. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. You're right. Well, you I wouldn't right. have gone with that flex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for uh, you guys know my personality. I think it's big time. I have a weird amount of watches. I did not think that's where you're going. I thought yeah, you I didn't going, know that. I know every folklore about Star Wars. Is what I, thought I mean, you were gonna say. that's not that weird of a flex. You have watches? Yeah, I have six different watches. I have a watch box for all my watches. You're not wearing one right now. Though. I never wear watches. That's why it's oh. a weird thing for me to have. So how does one guy who never wears watches accumulate six watches? So four of them Lots were of gifted. Time. And if we're counting an Apple Watch, which watch is in the name, I've bought two of them myself. I went through a phase in college, I'm like, it's tight to wear a watch. So I bought one (laughs) single watch and wore it out all the time. And then after that, I just realized that I look like a fucking idiot. Well, (laughs) what voice was telling you that it's super tight in college to be wearing a watch? Uh, Other (laughs) other guys my age were wearing watches. It was that voice. Tal, you are a big podcast guy, and sometimes that movement watch discount just can't be, you you can't miss that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to get, the movement watch discount just keeps getting better. Yep. (laughs) Basically, they're just giving it to you now. (laughs) 
You just can't pass up on those types of sales. 90% off movement watches. Use uh, promo code. T-shirt guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny if on movement they like got a bunch of decline coupon things like T-shirt guy. They're like, fuck. Yeah, is this hyphenated or what? I fucking you got to figure out where this is coming from. This guy brand deal. Uh-huh. That'd be wild. Next episode, they're our sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> His promo code T-shirt guy. Yeah, God, it couldn't be a bigger watch guy these days. <laughs> <laughs> we just shit talked him. So you have a watch box. Yeah, I got a watch box. As I didn't buy that either. I got it as a groomsman gift. Have you ever had hmm. one break on you? A watch? Yeah. Like, is it not work? You have any that don't work? Yeah, I have one. I wore at my wedding. Doesn't actually work. It was my great grandpa's. When you when it stopped working, did you go? My watch has ended. <laughs> no, but I did the classic. It's right two times a day. Oh god, that's a good one. Here yeah. we go. Now I want to clear it up for everyone. Being a watch guy is not the same as being a pocket watch guy. Like I am. <laughs> much different. Like you can't even say same church, different pew. We're not even close to the same church. <laughs> Pretty similar churches. No. Same religion, at least. No. Pocket watch guys are way cooler than watch guys. Yeah. We're talking like Pope and like local priest. Thank you, dude. <laughs> We're talking fucking just the local diocese, and then we're talking Vatican. <laughs> Cardinals. Yes. Cardinals yeah. is my type of shit. <laughs> so I just wanted to clear that up, just in case ever, anyone listening was like, oh, Miles and <laughs> Tyler are both watch guys. <laughs> not the same. We're talking His nations. goes on his wrist, which is kind of not as cool. Mine goes in a pocket. It's way more inconvenient to look at. Yeah. <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking nation's capital. We're talking state capital. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking caps either. Both of which we've covered today. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. So um, what's your, I mean, obviously the the grandpa watch. Yeah, that's It's got to be the prized watch possession. It is. It is. I don't actually know which one is the most expensive because they were gifted. And I'm like, I'm not going to ask how much you pay for this. And I don't, I can Google it, but I'm not for sure. Yeah, we just check like movement.com. I'm looking at the correct one. <laughs> I don't know if there, I got one from my best man at my wedding that could be a movement one. I don't know. Is, yeah. He's definitely got, the got a movement one. He's got a, you got six yeah. watches, one of them. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll send you a picture yeah. of it and let, you let me know if it's movement or yeah, not. I will. So do you ever just lift open the lid of the box and just look at them? No. Do you ever watch? Watches. No. Do you, ever, do you ever open it up and just go, wow, would you look at the time? <laughs> <laughs> I should. I'm going to do that in front of Becca next time we're like both like fighting for the sink, like yeah. brushing our teeth or something. I'm just yeah. going to open it. Like, would you look at the time? Yeah. That's my grandfather clock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Jared. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird flex. It's an odd flex, yeah. 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 Dude, what the fuck? That's such a weird flex. I pretty much only wear them to like weddings now. More one to your wedding. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. But obviously no one noticed because they were so focused <laughs> on my pocket watch. <laughs> <laughs> I kept asking about it. <laughs> and they don't flip open even. Regular watches don't flip open. Yeah, There's no true. dramatics. I mean, your Apple Watch, you can you can darken the screen on your Apple Watch. That's true. It does have that ability. I never wear that either. They're kind of overrated. Yeah. I used to have when I sold it to Miles. I basically got it just so I could check distances I, golfing, but then I didn't bring my phone with me, so the distance was off anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's an issue. I gave that to my brother. Yeah. The, the, and by gave it to him, I mean, he was rifling through my shit <laughs> in my basement and found it and just took it. <laughs> the brother, I'm, I'm dead serious. Brotherhood of the traveling Apple watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has to have had a watch phase in their life though. I feel like yeah. Yeah. even as a kid, there'd be like, that'd be like a three month span. You get like a digital watch. Yeah. Like a digital watch is like an eight year old. Man, yeah. Like, this is sick. Mm-hmm. All the people in the movies have watches. So cool now. <laughs> yeah. It's like your eight year old. You don't really need to keep track of time. No. <laughs> well, and you can't do the hands, you know, because oh, yeah. it's like as a kid, you Still can't can. read that shit. No. So I just needed to numbers only. <laughs> Digi. 
And my pocket watch has got Roman numerals on it. It is a nightmare. For me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And they're kind of elongated, so like the you know, like the twos kind of just it just meant it's like every it's one p.m. every day. <laughs> it's this, like, this is the the no Roman numerals yeah. are so elongated; they just look like the Roman numeral one. <laughs> It's like when someone has their phone on military time, you you try and check it to see what time it is. You're like, I don't know what time it is. What, what the fuck is 16? <laughs> take out your calculator. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so 16 minus 12 is 4. Okay, 4.30. You look at the sun. You're like, oh. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Yeah. Okay, so that's military time. What's that in regular time? <laughs> <laughs> they only run on military time it, in the United States Capitol. It is absolutely fucking stupid that we have two of each. <laughs> like, military time makes so much sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The fact we ever went with not mil- military time and are continuing to is insane to me. What are we doing? That's because people can't count higher than 12. Just reset it. <laughs> but then they got to do the math. It's a whole thing. Yeah, PMAM. Yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> it's a whole thing. What does PM and AM stand for? I think it's post meridian and anti meridian. Yeah. That sounds right. Anti meridian? A- Pre A N T E. I think one's pre moat and one's after moat. I could be wrong on the meridian <laughs> part though. Meridium? Yep. Uh, and AM after it, mid- yeah. After midday. Uh, PM stands for post meridian or after midday. That is so confusing. That's what yeah. it's Latin for after midday. So, yeah, but so that's about PM after midday. is actually AM. Yep. Yep. And what does AM stand for? Anti, yeah. Anti meridian. I'm just going to call BM and AM. That won't confuse anyone. <laughs> Before midday and after midday. Yeah. BM. Keep it easy. All right. I'll see you at 7 a.m. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> they show up. Where the fuck are you? I said AM. <laughs> it's after midday. Yeah. It's after midday. Idiot. Yeah. You want to go to the bar at 7 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah. That is actually also a weird flex that you knew what AM and PM was. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I know that. Yeah. What does AD stands for? After death. It is. I was mostly <laughs> just asking you to know. Yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. Jake, you were shaking your head no. Before Christ. It means Anno Domini. Yeah, I knew it wasn't after death. Which I think if you boil that down into English, it's after death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's what it is. Uh, no, I'm agreeing with you, Tyler. Yeah. Jake's like, no way. <laughs> Jake, just, uh, how, I want to hear Jake's biggest flex. If, if you <laughs> if you boil down hola in Spanish, it's just hello in English. <laughs> <laughs> you just boil it down a little bit. <laughs> Fuck, you know, can you just boil that down a little bit for me? <laughs> Someone say, <laughs> no hablo <laughs> uh, espanol. Boil it down for me. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Por favor. Boil down. <laughs> Boil it down, poor before. <laughs> Jared. Uh, Anno Domine oh. is Latin for year of the Lord. Mm. So what was the year of the Lord? 1 uh, AD? So is it yep. after death? No. <laughs> Fuck. But so, so you can't boil it down. So it's <laughs> no, it's, you can't. it's before it's Christ boiled. and then year of the Lord. Mm. So I think it's everything before Jesus was born and then after Jesus was born. Yeah. So it's been 2023 years. That's why years people always that say guy. 2023, the year of our Lord. Mm-hmm. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Educational pod. Jared. Weird flex. What do you got? Uh, when I was a senior in high school, I got voted best dressed. <laughs> Jared, there's no way. Not a chance. There's no I way. I swear to God. Well, I mean, how, was it an ironic thing? I don't know. I did graduate the class of 17, so I mean, the, the bar was pretty low. <laughs> so I was pretty proud of that when it happened. But. They're like, oh, okay, best dressed. I remember Jared wore a tux. 
At prom. To prom. <laughs> everyone else wore polos. No, everyone wore a tie, yeah. and he wore a bow tie. That was pretty well dressed. Yeah. Jared is wearing Etnies plaid shorts. One of those long ass <laughs> cinched belts that hung cloth down by belt. It. yeah the cloth belt with the with the uh, frayed, frayed edge. edge. I still wear those. And a uh, and a DC shirt, yeah. white and black DC yeah. shirt, and then a flat brim fitted New Era hat. Yeah, like, fuck this guy looks so sick. Best dress, yeah. baby. Oddly yeah. enough, when I was in DC, I saw I saw a lot of uh, middle aged men wearing plaid shorts still, and I I, I don't think they've left the 2010s. 10 era because th- i mean that was gone a long time ago was it not it was jared you were wearing them in high school in 2008 mm. 2012 might be a southern thing too mm. did you guys get a high school superlative yeah i was i most, did yeah i was drama king mm. i was biggest gossip i don't know where they got that from yep. though it's like <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I got most school spirit. Oh, that's a good my. one. <laughs> so you, it, it, it is true. You peaked in high school. Oh, uh, apparently, I don't what think that's peaking. Biggest gossip. That's damn near the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and who's fucking laughing now? We're getting paid to be drama king. So. <laughs> Jake, did you get a senior superlative? Yeah, <sighs> that almost <laughs> stings worse <laughs> than getting some <something laughs> shitty. <laughs> Like I think I'd rather get most likely to be a piece of shit than not get one at all. Because then you at least have a chance to prove yeah. them wrong. Yeah. That means they didn't even think about you during it. I mean, you did it. I mean, I graduated with like 600 people or some shit like that. So yeah, it was kind of easy to have nobody know who you are. I mean, maybe for you. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Uh, uh, I also got biggest dick <laughs> and we're not talking about literally we're talking figuratively do you think do you think Joe Biden got most likely to be president <laughs> <laughs> do you think anyone's actually yeah, in became 19, president in, in act- 1912 yeah. Joe Biden got most likely to be president <laughs> what if that's ever happened you like you get your senior superlative is most likely to be president and you actually become president then mm-hmm. I would say that like that was the first election you won. I know the, true. On. the girl what that if, got most likely to be president and my grade is not going to be president. <laughs> what if that was like your uh, your running slogan? You're like your uh, your election campaign. You guys have to vote for me. Everyone. <laughs> this is, this my is high school literally, <laughs> my high school literally yeah. voted me in. FHS class of 2013 <laughs> already predicted this. Yeah, it's like they're at the debate and they've done a great job running, whatever. And then they're like, so your final statements, like, why do you deserve to be president? Yeah. Uh, because when I was in high school, they told me. I would be. <laughs> what else? What else do I need? Uh, <laughs> Look at the. Book. It could happen. Yeah. It could happen. Yeah. Most well, like, what were you dressing like? So I, I wore a lot of button-up shirts. Every really? Day. Yeah. Mm. I wore like, a collared shirt every day. Well, you had yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we didn't really have best dressed at a school with uniforms <laughs> right. because everyone dressed the same every day. Yeah. It's like basically then it'd be like who's got the best shoes and belt? Yeah, pleated uh-huh. shirt award. Yeah. <laughs> best pleated khakis. <laughs> best ironer. No, it was a game changer when the Dockers uh a uh, liquid repellent pants came out. Back in the day, Ooh. remember those commercials where they would like, yep. it was like water would just run off. Mom loved it. So I was spilling on it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many different outfits did you have? Like two or three? So I wore khaki pants every day or khaki shorts. Oof. Then either a red or white polo. So mm. big, big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Jared, what kind of shoes were you wearing? Because you didn't really know how to tie your shoes. I honestly did have a pair of Etnies. I know you did. Etnies and Fat Farms. Yeah. I, you know what I loved about skateboarding shoes when I used to wear them middle school? Was how thick the tongue was. Yeah. <laughs> why is that? I don't know why. It was dope. I don't know. It just was a very satisfying <laughs> thing to have a thick tongue on yeah. your shoe. They were massive. And now they, they've eliminated tongues altogether on mm-hmm. running shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You I know. I never... It would have been a great joke uh, to get up in front of everyone and be like, in my etnies being like, I'm speaking in tongues. <laughs> I have a thick tongue. <laughs> such a strange joke. 
I have a thick tongue. <laughs> Everyone have been like, what? <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? Tongue on the shoe. <laughs> Down. There's tongues on my shoe. <laughs> when I was younger, I, I I never had like uh short socks like this, so I always had fucking <laughs> shin high socks and I would just fold them all the way under to my toes, yep. basically. I've done that. I did that in a uh in a hot shot basketball tournament one time because I don't want to be the kid wearing high socks and it just was so uncomfortable. <laughs> I probably only scored like 20 that game. <laughs> Peter just killing you. <laughs> I, my, I'm like, you guys, my that, feet are so That hot. game, it was a hot shot tournament. It wasn't even an actual game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just uh, the hot shot competition. Yeah. I think we back on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, Jared? Yeah. <laughs> really? It couldn't have been that uncomfortable just sitting there with your feet kicked up. <laughs> Fuck. It really hurts my feet in these <laughs> shoes when I got to walk from the bench to the water cooler to hand a drink to my buddy just getting off the court. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you just get ankle socks? Uh, I don't know. We only had like one pair throughout the house. They're Tommy Hilfiger. They're actually my mom's and I'd take them every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was, it was, but the mid-calf was kind of a thing in, well, at least when I was in high school. Everyone was wearing mid-calf socks. I wanted the booty. I was a booty guy. <laughs> I was a booty guy. Low rise. I yeah. <laughs> wanted to wear the, bo- the booty socks. Booty, booty, booty. You guys ever wear uh, when you had cut off, you, you like cut the sleeves off a shirt? Yeah, like one, you had like one nipple hanging out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those were the best. Best yeah. look. There was a yeah. moment there where you would take an old... <laughs> You would take an old basketball camp t-shirt yep, yep. and it yep. was a competition to who could cut it <laughs> the thinnest. You remember that? I remember I cut one of mine literally right off of where the like mm-hmm. neck the was collar. on it and yeah. it just went straight down and then it curved out at the very bottom. It's hanging on by a thread. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why? And then every once in a while you like unroll it a little bit to cover yeah. your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so though. pointless. Also, so much drag. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a like parachute a, yeah, running like a down the yeah. ball court. Yeah. yeah. Why did we do that? I don't know. I don't know. just want to show the nips off. I guess. Yeah. Free the nip. <laughs> free. We, yeah, we were freeing the nip way before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> way before freeing the nip was cool. I, I imagine my dad had to have been like, "What the? F- <laughs> I work hard." <laughs> I, yeah. Then I get married and have a kid. So you to that basketball so camp. So excited to try and raise him right, send him to basketball camp. And then he becomes of age and he fucking cuts his shirt like a fucking dipshit. I think that's coming back now. Is it? The super, super low cut. Really? Yeah. I can't wait to tell my kid one day, like, hey, I paid full price for that shirt. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had buddies that, like, we'd be playing b-ball, and the shirt would rip because it was so low. (laughs) And then they would just tie it and put, like, athletic tape around it. Yeah. Because if you don't tie it. And then they would wash it. Instead of just throwing the shirt away, they would wash it. They'd wear it now with tied and with athletic tape on it. And if you don't tape it, it just becomes a poncho. That is true. (laughs) That's very true. I should, I'm gonna grab an old T-shirt and see like how thin I can we should get do like, a the pod. chest part. We should do a pod where we all wear one of those. <laughs> yeah, I'm I still down, have, next I week. St- I'm down to do it. I'm down to do it. We just get flagged on social media immediately. <laughs> Nudity. Yeah, I still do. have one in my closet. It's like a sentimental shirt that oh. I didn't want to get rid of. Really, I got a couple shirts like that somewhere yeah. in my basement in a in a box that my mom gave me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got the box from mom too. Yeah. Ever I think. Mm-hmm. Mom, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't I, I I wasn't Tyler. You know I didn't Ryan, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right, Tyler? Like everyone's got a box from their mom. <laughs> yeah. Right, Tyler? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so mean. I everyone's got joking. a box from their childhood, mm-hmm. is what I meant. My mom just gave me mine. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened to be that my mom gave it to me. You're squirrely today. I like it. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Good to I be like back, that. actually. You know what? I think he's every other week he should go <laughs> and then come back and he's just full of it. I good to be back. Very good to be back. Yeah. 
vacation every week. Yeah. Ideally, I'd get back on a Saturday from vacation, though, so you have all Sunday to recoup. Yeah, mm. jet lagged. Yeah. Eastern um, time. The yeah. final thing I'll say about your DC trip is I flipped through the photos that was posted online. Yeah. And there was one photo that rubbed me a little the wrong way. Which one? You were sitting somewhere drinking a beer. Oh, yeah. And the look on his face was so <laughs> smug. It was like, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. What was going on? I don't know. What were you feeling so cocky about? <laughs> I was. <laughs> And I know the look I was feeling it's because myself. it's the same look after he beats me in a sport. <laughs> Did you just beat someone in like darts or something at the no. bar or what? No. I was, think it might have been post sushi. I actually zoomed in on your face and I showed it to Anna and I just go, Jesus. <laughs> this fucking guy. You know, it's funny. He's, to say so, that. he's so cocky about being in DC right now, is all I could think. No, it's probably because I just I just got done eating at the Michelin Star restaurant. I'm like, none of these people have ever eaten at Michelin Star. <laughs> like none of them have ever eaten as at as many Michelin stars as I have. Yeah. Look at these peasants walking around. <laughs> these guys haven't they've never had sushi like I have. They've never had DC. little bits of fish <laughs> on rice before like I have. <laughs> and I roll mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I did, imagine I, it's the same face that you make when you eat your hand rolled by yourself. Well, I was trying um, to there was a couple things that I saw the chef doing that I didn't really agree with. So I was trying to trying like to get back there. I was trying to <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to point him in the right direction. So like the <laughs> let me just get back. Let me come back there. It scoots back. So you ever heard of imitation crab or <laughs> Oh God! Is that <laughs> fucking yellow fit? <laughs> Where's the imitation crab? God. <laughs> I'm I'm a blue fin tuna guy. Really, <laughs> yellow fin? This is Michelin star. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, where's the hell of it? Um, I did. Look, I did see the face, and I'll I'll be honest. I didn't intentionally try and do that. But when I saw it, I, I did think to myself, like, God, you I look, you so look like sick. a fucking piece of shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I did internalize that. I will not lie about it. I did. Yeah. I was just, otherwise you look like you're having a great time. It's that one photo. I was like, then, then like as your boss, I was like, yeah, he's fucking even lucky to fucking be there. That I gave him time off. <laughs> it's my money. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> um, about five minutes before that, we had a guy out on the dock, whatever, take a photo of us with the sunset and back, whatever. And I mean, this guy probably took 15 photos, which is good on you. We got some options. But the reason it took him so long to take these photos, I mean, we were standing there smiling for 90 seconds. He he put a different filter on each one, like a, a, the old IG filters. <laughs> he put a different filter on each one. That's how they do it in DC, dude. And I'm like, wait, we got, we got, I'm like, we just, we have to leave. We got to get out of here right now. <laughs> this is the type of guy who has 8,000 posts on his Instagram page. And 40 followers. And 58 followers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, Ryan, I'm glad you made it home safe. Yeah. It feels good to be back. Thanks for the declaration of independence. I will be deciphering the code <laughs> on the back. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they should. You know, they have like the games where you can play like board games with people, like solve a mystery or whatever. Why is National Treasure not have a board game? That's a great. Idea. That's a great idea. And then you just have to put lemon juice in the back of the parchment that they give you and heat it up. <laughs> TM, and TM, then TM. You solve it all that. Yeah, you get to a certain point, it unlocks lemon juice. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. TM, yeah, TM, yeah. TM. You know, it just comes with a vial of lemon juice <laughs> and Q-tips. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drop it, though. Yeah. It's spill everywhere. All right, guys. Well, I think that was another good episode of You Bet Your Radio. You got to go follow us on Patreon mm -hmm. um, every week. We got another episode on there. Go to patreon.com slash you bet your radio. Just download the app. Search us on there. And uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. And uh, may your declaration be independent and your city have a moat around it <laughs> cheers Ryan oh you betcha yeah yeah